Hello guys, welcome back to the Back by Popular Demand Cork City Career Mode episode 31. It's a brand new start. I am Patrick. So before we go into anything, we have to have a little chat. Mr. Sandcastle's World Tour is cancelled. Okay, as you can see, it is cancelled. It is now being replaced by primarily the Cork series. Would you prefer only to see the Cork series and to give up the Fortnite series? Or do you want me to continue the Fortnite series along with the Cork series, which, which is now back full time? Also with that, like you guys can suggest to any games at all down below and we might get to them. Look at this lovely now, the picture of my pitch on the screen. Lovely, lovely, let's go back to the game. You can suggest anything down below, please do. Um, any games you'd be interested in seeing on the channel because we can do them for you whatever you want it'll be a bit of fun um, and it'll be nice to know exactly what you guys want to see on this channel so you can watch more of us having the laugh but let's get in to the straw Hatter game actually no we won't first of all we want to show off the squad so this is the team we are continuing with Despacito on the right as you can see I am now going to use the force now to put the D in, lovely, there we are, Despacito, Kieran Sadler, Van Persie, which is a weird one, Shawnee Maguire, did I just call him Sadler? We all know his real name, Mr. Sandcastle. Let us get into this game and start off with a bang. I've gone into the season a couple of games already, as you can see, we are just, we, I think we got one draw whatever um, we are just firing through this league Dundalk the same as per usual Limerick surprisingly and Galway only on goal difference fair enough into the Strahada game it's good to see the good old Cork jersey back again oh it's going to be lovely although this is the old one now this is the old kit the new kits they have are so nice oh look at this Mr. Sandcastles and Despacito just finishing it off like Look at that, he meant to do that. He just walloped it again. Oh, look at that, he's got a point. He's playing GA there. Very weird that we have Van Persie. Very, very weird. We have the best team in Ireland. Like We're actually almost the same quality or standard as the Irish national team. Jeez, it'd be great if, we, if Cork could play, for, play instead of Ireland. The FAC, by right? the Football Association of Cork, instead of Ireland. Because we'd win it for him. Well, with this team anyway. Despacito is going to be claiming uh, citizenship in Ireland. Oh, Shawnee's true. Shawnee with the first goal. Come on. Oh, my God. He's still playing. He was playing GA as well. Shawnee McGuire. Ooh. Good shot. We need to get... We need to play good football. Now. Come on. Like the old days. The old things. Good football. Shawnee again. Oh, I mean, like, Despacito, he's just such a good tackler as well. What an all-round footballer. I remember in Season 2 when we discovered that he was more effective on the right wing. So we're going to be keeping him there, even though he actually is a left-wing player. Van Persie's after slowing down, seriously. Um, he was never too fast anyway, but he's going to have a wicked left leg on him. Uh, I think the last game we played... Who did we play? Chelsea. I think Chelsea was the last one, yeah. He didn't do too good against them. I think it was Mr. Sandcastles who stole the show as per bloody usual. Slenderman 99. I forgot about that. He is the number 99 because he is uh, the all seer of the underworld and he needs to have the most obscure number. Van Persie again. Oh, Jesus, he's like. He's 73 rated, so like he's gone seriously down, but he's still well good enough standard for the Irish League. And Mr. Sandcastles is pushed out to the wing now as well, where he's playing in real life. Ah, oh, Shawnee McGuire. I feel a small bit rusty with the team, I must say. Um, the games, the seven points came from two wins and a draw, but they were all simulated. I didn't play them. Go on, finish it. Yes, Van Persie. What a header. First goal of the new season three. This is great. It's nice to have it back. Um, 
I missed it a little bit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can hear right there, that actually is the alarm for the electricity in my house. I am now running over and turning it off. Shut up, stupid electricity. And now, I'm back with you, ladies and gentlemen. Controller in hand. Here we go again. Sorry about the alarm. Um, that likes to go off all the time. It goes down to three euro. The alarm starts going off and will not shut up. And it goes off every 15 minutes. It drives me absolutely bonkers. I wish there was a way to shut it off. Electricity need to invent a way. Oh, Toby. Invent a way to score a goal, Toby. Oh, Toby. There's a reason you're a defender. Oh, the thundering man, Jeff Hendrick. My namesake. Oh, the football is so good. Shoot. Oh, Despacito, you're rusty as well, man. With your trendy feckin' forward haircut. Oh, Van Persie, please finish it. What was it? I twisted you around to use your left, and you still use your right leg. You absolute goal bag of the highest order. Thundering man. Oh, thundering man with a thundering miss. We can't have a low scoring game. That would be not fair for the comeback, Shawnee. Oh, Shawnee, you missed it again. Oh, just, and you're offside, for God's sake. Right, no more chips with Shawnee. All right, because I'm used to doing them with, like, players in the 80 rated's. Alan Brown, finish it. Ooh, he runs a little bit like, uh, he runs a little bit like Mr. Sandcastles. Come on, let's see. Can we finish off them? Finish off the half with another goal. Brown. Jeez, Brown is everywhere. Brown is everywhere. Brown is everywhere. There's a lovely little song now in a jingle. Lovely. Despacito. I have no idea what happened there. He kicked it very weird. I told him to do finesse, but he didn't do it. Ooh. That's wide. Yeah, that was the worst pass I've ever seen in my entire life. Van Persie, like, fair enough he got the goal with the header, but... Um, what am I trying to say exactly? He hasn't been great. Alright, he is like a world-class player. Even though he's older, like, Rooney's a world-class player, but he's old, you know, he's on the down. But he's still world-class quality. Oh, God, Shawnee. Let's throw our players forward, like we used to do in the old days. Because we used to fucking nick the goals all day with those ones. Mr. just saying, Castles, come on. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I'm sorry, like, he's just the greatest player in the whole world. He's the only player on this team... And I mean this including with Despacito. He's the only player that feels like he plays like a top quality player in the game. I don't know how to explain it, but he just feels really good to control. And he's, he's so good all round. What a finish. What a man. Look at that. He's just cutting through players. Oh my God. Oh, he tried to do a mad thing, but he messed it up. Tried to dummy the keeper and go around him. Why am I talking like I'm not doing it? I'm the one that's controlling him. Oh, Jesus. I gave him away such an easy goal. In fairness to him, let's have a look at it. It was a nice finish, like. Not a bad goal, in fairness to him. Ah, bad ball. Alright, it worked out. I shouldn't have questioned Mr. Sandcastles. I believe in his ways. Everything is coming through as he has foreseen. Like the Emperor. Good, good. Oh, Jesus, McKay, he's a defender. Oh, yeah, I'm all out of attack. Stay out all attack. We're only a goal ahead, actually. This could go tits up, like. Oh, Van Persie with a beautiful finish. Oh, yeah, that left leg is going to come in handy. Let's have a look at that. The finesse. Bang. Beautiful. Great goal. 
He's old now, like, I think he's 36 in his career mode. That is pushing it. He was good for Man United back in the day. That uh, that first season was just something else. From Percy again, shoot again. Oh, I did the McGeady spin. And by the way, some people might believe that's called the Rebury spin. It's not. It's called the McGeady spin. And I also thought it was very funny that Aidan McGeady, it was the one who actually... Like, is credited to have invented it. Not Ribéry, right? But in FIFA 11, Aidan McGeady was only four-star skills. And you had, you had to be five-star skills to do the move. So the guy who invented the move didn't have enough star skills to actually do the bloody move in the game. It was the funniest thing that year. I have a lot of good memories, actually, about FIFA 11. I did a career mode with uh, Gillingham. Oh, it was so great. A lot of fun with that. I worked my way up, won the Champions League. I remember getting my free transfers and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. A bit like this. And I'm glad that I'm. I'm glad that I'm doing these. I'm glad I'm, that I'm continuing the career mode because it was nice to do a career mode and for things to happen and for other people to see it and relate to it. You know, because I mean. There's been loads of times where I've been doing career modes and mad stuff will happen and exciting stuff will happen. And it's been great that it's videoed. It's great that it's recorded because it just means it's there for everyone to see. No. Oh, Shawnee. Oh, Michaela, what a beautiful pass. Mr. Sandcastle gives it to Shawnee. Shawnee, this is your chance. Don't let us down. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God. What happened there? Free kick? Grand, 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 grand. I don't know why. What we're, gonna, what we're gonna do now is a mad thing, right? We're gonna give it to Baggy Oaks. And he's gonna finish. And he. I, okay, he still has it. Oh, <laughs> I thought the ball was so good. Blow the whistle, referee. The game is over. It's a 3 1 win. Oh my God, Shawnee. What has happened to him? Lovely, the game is done. Moving on to the next one, which I think is Bohemians. Mr. Sandcastle has gone up to 76 with that training. Lovely. What a player. What a player. I can't wait to get him up to the 80s. He, um, he deserves it. We're going to keep training him all season. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go on the away jersey this time. We need you guys to suggest some players down below. We have six million to spend. We need realistic transfers. And I mean realistic... Oh, God, what a bad pass. I mean realistic in the sense of... Um, first of all, that beautiful finish. Realistic in the sense of our price. Because we only have six million to spend. Oh my god, Mr. Sandcastles is so good. I'm actually just having the loveliest time here watching him. Oh, he jumped too early. Game day, let's do this. We're playing against Shameless McFlies, boys. Bows. Playing against Bows. From Zoblin. The rivalry they have with Shamrock Rovers is absolutely mental. It used to be dangerous a couple of years ago, I think I remember rightly. Um. Like Cork's biggest rival at the moment is Dundalk. Um, Cork and Dundalk weren't always rivals, you know. Dundalk really weren't anyone a couple of years ago. I knew for sure Cork. Cork went bankrupt, as sure as we know. Oh my fucking Jesus Christ Almighty, I'm sorry for cursing, but Shawnee Maguire, what was that angelic finish? We will be watching all of that again. Oh my God. No wonder he did nothing in the last game or was messing everything up. Look how much the bend. Look at that curl. What a finish. He did nothing in the last game because he was saving his juices for this game. And God, was that worth it. Despacito. Oh, Shawnee messed that one up. He's too excited. He's excited after the connection of the first one. 
just a suggestion. But would you guys be interested in seeing some WWE 2K18 on this channel? I have my uh, player made and I've been kind of doing the wrestling thing, just playing it myself. Um, I'm after winning the money in the bank, so I might become world champion. I don't know yet, whatever happens in the story. But I do have the money in the bank. So would you guys be interested in seeing that? But speaking of wrestling, the wrestler Alexa Bliss... I will show her now. Oh, good Lord. She is an absolute goddess, as she says. She is so lovely. I would love to hold her hand for an evening. Give me thine hand in marriage. Goodbye. The women's belt in WWE, uh, the fighting for it has really gotten good. Um, I remember back in the olden days, there was like uh, female wrestlers like Trish Stratus. There was uh, Lita who was me and Ethan, who gave us the 25 million in season two to Cork City. He uh, was one of my old, or is one of my oldest friends. He loved Lita, as did I. Um, beautiful, beautiful lady. And she used to be with the Hardy Boys, who we absolutely used to love. I used to say that he was Jeff and I was Matt. We were incredibly wrong. Lovely. That, oh, Van Persie got nudged off the ball. But, um, yeah, there's been some good, really good wrestlers at the moment. I really like that Becky Lynch one. Uh, Alexa Bliss, of course, who is just the most stunningly beautiful woman in Ireland. No, in the world. I hate it when they changed the women's title to the Divas. It was just stupid. It was. I thought it was quite disrespectful. Um, but I'm glad it's the women's title. It just gives it more professional... You know, it's like a diva. What? Oh, that was some pass. Sandcastles. Oh my God, he hit the crossbar. But yeah, that's just what I think anyway. I thought the divas thing was stupid. I'm glad to see the women's uh, title is back. And the quality of the women's wrestling at the moment is feckin' great. <coughs> I coughed and I finished. Was that Shawnee? It was. What a finish. What a goal. He snuck that one in. That was almost like the one he got in the uh, FAI Cup final two years ago. A little nick. And the, and the keeper just lets it go. We've got to keep up the form now. Cork are playing good in real life. And they're playing good in the series. That's back by popular demand, baby. But also who are doing real life is uh, Waterford. Waterford are doing fantastic this season. And to be honest, they deserve it. Like, I mean, they're working really hard and they're getting the results. They beat Cork, you know, in fairness to them. Now, Dundalk beat us as well, but we got our revenge against Dundalk. Uh, we got to get the revenge against Waterford, but they're playing really good and I'm impressed with them. I thought it was going to be a two-horse race the whole season, but it's looking like Waterford are a good contender for it, in fairness. And they haven't half the resources that Cork or Dundalk have. So fair fucks to them. If you're a Waterford City fan, well done. Oh my God, what a miss. It was so wide of an for throwing. My hit the snake suggestion that will be in the spot will be in the Spotify playlist down below. Please do listen to it. The song is Our Friends Electric by Gary Newman. An absolute hit of a song. Oh Mad Shot. Right, half time. Let's get into the next half, baby. My players are wrecked, but they'll last the end of the game. We might throw on a second string for the next game or something. Not if it's a Champions League one though. So with Cork doing well anyway this year, I, I'm i really proud of them. You know, they proved they weren't just a one-season team, like like almost like Leicester or whatever. So what I really think is that Cork are doing really well this year, right? And you've given me a lot of love and support over the whole lifetime of the Cork career mode, and I can't thank you enough for that. You know, it's been a great help to the channel, and we'd love to go professional with this one day, and doing series like this will help. Um, but... Mr. Sandcastles has been doing amazing in real life. Kieran Sadler, right? I predicted it. I called it. All right? We didn't force Mr. Sandcastles to become the hero. He just became the hero because it was fate. So I predicted that. Cork also are playing really fucking amazing at the moment. And I think it's crazy because... Oh, penalty. Yes. We've been, gi we've been given... I'm going to continue the speech while I'm giving the penalty. Cork been playing well. 
we've been showing these videos a lot of support. Some Cork players might have seen these. I think some of them have. Um, it's a lot of love and support. They can feel the love through the videos. Shawnee, you're getting your hat-trick. Score the penalty, buddy. Oh my God, he doesn't deserve it. Oh my God. So Cork are doing well because of this series. I mean, I don't think there's a Dundalk series. And if there is, I haven't heard of it. I know Shameless McFly started a Bohemians one and he was doing well with it. Um, hopefully Cork players feel more love from Hit the Snake and the new term which I am dubbing for ye, the Hit the Snake Knights. So ye are Snake Knights, which is now the name of our fans. Hopefully someday we'll have t-shirts done up with that, which you can buy. Hit the Snake! This is it. He doesn't need a penalty. He doesn't need a bloody penalty. He wants to... He needed the penalty. He really needed the penalty. Oh, come on. Watch out, Mr. Sandcastles will get it, because he always steals the bloody show. That doesn't look anything like Toby. Toby, right into FIFA and be like, lads, come on, what's the story? Oh, that's lavish. Come on, Van Percy. Just, Shawnee, go, will you? Oh, he still has it. Come on, please. Please. Oh, beautiful. There's his hat-trick. He didn't need a penalty. I knew it. I was 100% confident in him for the whole thing. No lies detected in my voice. Hat-trick hero, Shawnee Maguire. What a guy. Graham Cummins, his replacement, has been doing really well this year as well. Um, good man for Cork. I have him in the team, so don't worry. We can throw him on as well. We, we have all the realistic transfers as well, I think. Um, we might have to start clearing out some players for room for more players because our squad is huge we still have the likes of Boyley down below like he never became a man he never grew up it's just Sandcastles free kick Jesus he absolutely stopped me in my strike oh he just wins it back anyway like Mr. Sandcastles is just so good he's so good He every time he loses the ball he takes it personally you know I hope you guys are looking forward to being finished college and school as well. Whatever you go to while you're watching these videos, you're almost there. You're almost finished. Just finish exams, tests, whatever you got to do. The end of your classes, just get it done. We're almost there. If you guys are liking this video, please do like the video. Um, and while you're down there, leave us a comment. Tell us what games you want to see on the channel. Anything you want to say to us, to me, Patrick or Jack. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It would be lovely to get more subscriptions for us to make more better videos for you, our fans. Guys, that is the end of the match. I'm afraid it is the end of the Back by Popular Demand FIFA episode 31, baby. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I have been Patrick from Hit the Snake. Thank you very much. I'll see you again in the next episode. Goodbye. Who hit the stage? Videos for no one, no one watches now. Who hit the stage? Looking at lovely things we have.